looking back, reflecting, my Aether theory was probably the most cringe video I've ever put on YouTube. Well, not ever. I've had quite a lot when I was young. Videos of 12 year old or frost, but in terms of stuff that's still up, it's like so pretentious, you know? Cause it's kind of, it's kind of my attempt, like my, my childish attempt to unify relativity and quantum physics using this bridge of simulation theory. <laughs> the only problem is there's like nothing to reconcile because simulation theory has zero evidence behind it and it's more of a thought experiment to to explain the human condition and to help us better understand ourselves and and our place in the universe this like you know this balancing act between between the insatiable desire to be human and to have a, a divine um, purpose versus to question whether and if any of that's even real, if we even exist, you know? And simulation theory borders right in between those two, so it's like, it's very interesting to think about. On the other hand, why, the, the reason why any higher being would ever feel the need to, to do any of this is not usually ever thought about. It's always just like, you know, Elon Musk explaining that the probability and stuff like that, and then everyone calls him a genius for it. Also, I didn't do any math um, for A3 theory. There's, there isn't really any math for me to do. There is, but um, not that I was willing to do. I was mostly heavily focused on the black hole stuff. And then there's like this like hairy ball stuff with the black hole and um, it got really confusing and I'm like, okay, there's cool abstract sides to this, but the math is not for me. And also I, I focused on that because not only I was, was I more interested in the black hole side of things, Reddit was also more interested in that. If I was to make a post go viral on Reddit, like, Reddit really only cares about four total things, okay? In terms of science, which is black holes, dark matter slash dark energy, uh, the Big Bang, and getting angry at religious people for believing in God. The thing is, I did have some cool stuff in Aether Theory, like not even relating to black holes, like just to like explain stuff relating to simulation not like, not reconciling relativity and quantum physics, but more just explaining the reasons behind certain phenomena, like superpositions, like a double slit experiment. The fact that particles act like waves until observed and they act like particles again, or, or you know, these entities act separately, act differently whether or not they're observed. Like, bro, that's actually exactly what random generation does in video games if you have a randomly generated world it's all probabilistic it's all in a superposition like does the rest of your minecraft world exist like think about it well in one way not really but in another way yeah because when you go there it'll exist <clears throat> it's all it's all uh if you create a randomly generated probabilistic world that only propagates when you observe the thing and then collapses back into probability when something is not being observed that's literally how randomly generated things work that's how uh <clears throat> computers decide and they use light that's what they use for it light as this ultimate mediator because if there's no light bouncing off an object in a video game it doesn't really actually exist so that's what they'll use to limit like uh how things exist in video games and in simulated worlds is by using light, is by using something to for the universe to observe itself and to to interact and understand the the locations and movement of everything else in the universe. 
because everything emits light like you can't like a particle cannot exist without emitting light well i mean it depends on what you'd consider a particle but you know what i mean but that's literally like the same the same way the way that the video games render things by simulating the lighting in reality everything is just lights and it's so weird because just like you know computer programs the real world is just all math and the math that constitutes physics follows the same laws as the math that constitutes real life if in a game hold up Okay, yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? So, like, okay, if there's this video game, right, and there's something in it, like, this bar is equal to your health, then does the health, does your health determine the bar length, or does the bar length determine the health? And the answer, if you took think about a video game, is neither. They're the same thing. Uh, they can't determine each other because they aren't actually different. There's an underlying variable that determines what you'd consider to be both. And just like that, the laws of physics, you know, with an equal sign, are up for mathematical exploits. You know, like force equals mass times acceleration. That means that acceleration equals force divided by mass. The equations literally don't tell you what determines what. They just point out how the world is. Like, with the speed of light. See, here's an interesting little thought experiment you can do if you don't understand how relativity works. Let's say you and your friend are standing next to each other with a stopwatch, and someone at a distance shines a light at both you guys, right? You're right next to each other. And they're far away and they, they shine a flashlight and he's 10 light seconds away. So you and your friend are right next to each other and he shines the light and you should both see these light signals. So th you decide to do the experiment again where you tell the guy, do the same thing again, shine the light at both of us. But when he shines that light and you and your friend both start your stopwatches to see how long it would take for the light to reach you guys, your friend will stay in the same spot and you run in the opposite direction of the light source at half the speed of light. So it should take twice as long to reach you as it does your friend, right? Like it should take 10 seconds to reach your friend and then 20 seconds to reach you. So the light reaches him and he stops his stopwatch, okay, that he has in his hand. And he's like, yep, 10 seconds exactly. And now, because you're moving so far away, so fast, by the time the right light reaches you, you should be 20 light seconds away and because you're moving half the speed of light. So when the light reaches you, you stop your stopwatch and you look at it and you go, hmm, that's interesting. 10 seconds have passed. It's almost like the light traveled twice as fast. Because... Light is what collapses reality down into existence. And these spectrums and these colors and all this stuff, and the intensity and all that stuff, all of that is just descriptors as to how the universe operates. Just like in a computer, light is the only thing that's actually visually rendered. Before that, reality is just a bunch of equations and probability. Nothing really like describing how anything else works, but everything just sort of, uh, I mean, nothing ever constituting how anything works, but everything just describing everything else. At least on, on, from, a, from a higher level. On a low level, yeah, 
I mean, things have to be simulated. But I had cool ideas. It just, to be honest, I forgot a lot of it. If, if Sometimes it'll come back to me and I'll be like, man, I should talk about this. But then I'll be like, no, nah, it's not that big of a deal. If I think of something major, though, I might write, write it down and then make like a Aether Theory uh, Part 2. No, but that was like a two-hour... Uh, I don't know. 